Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the best passing formations in the game, in my opinion, the second best passing formation in all of Man 20, which is, of course, no. Yes, uh, Gantel of Setaren, one of the best plays in the game, is inside of it. Why I would have X Wing. And actually, I'm going to be breaking this down. In my opinion, Gantel of Setaren, uh, the second best passing formation in the game. Just close behind uh, Gun Bunch. Gun Bunch is just too powerful. They did a 40 minute breakdown of it. It's that good. I th think that this is one, uh, one of the best videos on my channel. So make sure you go check it out. Really powerful stuff in Gun Bunch. Gun Side of Set End, a bit less powerful now. I already did a, a video on this playbook, which is the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. Going to be my new free ebook. I did a video on the Pistol Bunch Side End formation. Great, great stuff in here too. Definitely recommend you to go check that video out too. But in this video, we are going to be talking about the Y out play out of the Gun Tide of Setter. And it has always has different names in different uh, versions of Madden. But everybody just, just calls it Y out. It's pretty well known as the play called Y out. Duh. And we're going to be running this against the cover three. Cover three usually gives it uh, the most trouble now. There's a YouTuber and, and or professional man player kind of crosses over that runs this formation and did a full ebook on it. So he charged people money for this information. Now, let me quickly say one thing about that. The, he breaks down a lot of things in his ebook, a lot of things that are very powerful and that he are very exclusive to his style of playing the game. I'm not going to break down anything that he is like that's really unique to him. I'm just going to show you how to run this formation uh, in a more general sense, in a more broader sense. Nothing that I'm going to explain right here is something that he um, is probably going to be mad at me for showing because he showed many of these things himself. He posts many YouTube videos where he runs this scheme. And I don't, I'm not. I don't think that he's going to have an issue with this video and if he does and I'm, I'm then of course going to be forced down to take the video uh, forced to take down the video but until then I don't think he's going to have an issue with with me showing uh, some generic things that pretty much everybody in the community knows now this is the first setup we need to make sure that we have a wide receiver with slot apprentice in this new spot and all we want to do then is we want to double team this guy and I did the mic on him. It's very important to do that. Um, to double team the second most outside Russia. Russia. S see, I'm sick and I already have a lo lots of voice cracks. It, it just doesn't help the matter. Okay, let's try that again. So, I D the mic on the most outside Russia and double team the second most outside Russia. If you got what I'm saying, this then... Um, makes your protection better and you can then throw that corner out in there basically all you want to do is you want to throw corner out. now let me uh, respot the ball because this works better uh, like that all you want to do is you want to max protect then motion this guy over here and then I did the mic on him you're just going to snap the ball and read it out Okay, so I'm sorry for already having to jump back uh, a few steps, but I had to go back to the lineup screen to show you something now. Um, I did not explain how to get four wide receivers on the field, and it's pretty simple, but I still forgot to show you. You only want to flick the right stick to the right once, and then you have four wide receivers on the field. Um, instead of number 84 being there, there's then number 14, and number 14 is a wide receiver. So that's all for that and we're going to come back out in this play and we're going to run it against the cover 2 now because cover 2 cover two really struggles to defend uh, this formation and for a couple of reasons I'm going to explain to you now. Make sure to have a wide receiver that has slot, uh, slot apprentice on Sunu to get that corner out. Now all we want to do is we want to double team him and then once again I did the mic on him so that we can roll out like that and then 
this corner out just gets wide open. A little swerve, just just a little swerve uh, mixed in there. And yeah, this is just an extremely powerful play. And if you can, if you know how to complete these corner routes, people are gonna hate it. Like I got around to defending it pretty well because I had to. Like opponents uh, ran this all, all up and down the field against me until I sort of figured out how to stop it. I say I'm saying sort of because man, it's still really, really powerful. Let me tell you, I, I hate. I really hate defending this shit. It's so good. Like this corner out is just butt naked and if he uses if my opponent uses that corner route and then just turn around and throw the one to the left side. It's so powerful. Like you need to get a zone to defend that. And the only real way to get a zone to defend that is if he if you if I get sacked and it's second and nineteen for example and he plays the sticks then his zone can cover it but until then it's just too it's just too powerful like, like look at that and a lot of people are going to a lot of people some people are going to come at me and say Ooh, how can you show su uh, such powerful stuff i mean he, people pay, yeah, should pay for knowledge like that especially if the person that's putting it out or, or put it out there is charging money for it yeah but People also watch his YouTube videos and it's not hard to figure out that he runs a drag and two corner routes and he just throws to either one of them. Like that's that's not sup supreme knowledge that you should have to pay for. Like I feel like that's, that's pretty well understood in the com community. Once again, something that is very important to this play is that you have a uh, fast quarterback i would recommend is something uh, someone like someone like michael Vick. really good speed just overall like a, a great quarterback so that you can really roll out on these corner routes like yeah it's it's just too powerful unless you can get a zone to guard that you can throw that uh, you can run that all up and down the field on your opponent now let's get into a bit more of an interesting topic let's get into how to beat uh, coverages out of this formation. We're going to start with cover three, of course. Not of course. I just cover three because why not? Um, cover three is really easily beaten. Like that's all there is to it. I would personally slide the line to left and then just try to roll out to the left a little bit and just. I was about to say and just chuck it. Um didn't work as intended let's try that again actually um, all you want to do is you want to max protect and yeah do that i would personally hit him for set i mean i uh, try to i get f okay we need to have a serious conversation like why do i get shattered all the time in practice mode it's really annoying the piss out of me the ever living piss out of me um yeah let's come on uh let's do this now all right there we got a double team this should work great and now you see how open uh, this hairy guy gets pause hairy hairy uh. okay i'm just all over the place in this video now basically what you want to do is you want to get as much protection as possible and then just chuck it just chuck it try to get as much protection as possible and then just get the post route open behind the corner route. right there that's a beautiful rack animation and we're gone for a touch on that's how to beat cover that's how to beat cover uh, three against it uh, out of this now let's talk about how to beat cover two out of this besides the corner routes of course because these corner routes uh, just by themselves are really really powerful pretty much the same way uh, cover 2 is pretty much beaten the same way oops like that was not it like definitely not it um yeah let's let's try something like this what i'm basically trying to do is i want to get the corner out open as best as possible uh, the post route open as best as possible now right there it did not work for some reason i don't know why but it didn't work. 
Um, one more time. I'm going to attempt this. Yeah, Tom Brady doesn't have the throw bar. Usually, uh, what happens is when you have two corner rods going both, uh, both going to the outside, obviously, as they're corner rods. Man, I'm talking some dumb shit right now. Um, you can usually split split the safeties uh, just like that with a fast wide receiver and a strong armed quarterback. He can uh, just put it. He can just chuck it right down the middle, and usually the safeties can't collapse on it. That's something that works. Uh, incre incredibly, incredibly well out of the wide receiver post play in the gun mount formation. Right now, it apparently does not work. I expected it to, but once again, if you want to beat cover two out of this, look no further than two corner routes and a drag. It's really stupid how easy this, how easily this game can be exploited if you time the throw properly. I think you've seen me throw enough corner rods uh, for you to believe me that this formation is really, really powerful. I'm very thankful for you sticking until the end of this video. If you did, probably subscribe to my channel. It's probably going to be a smart decision for you. I'm going to continue with this ebook. It's going to be completely free for you guys to see. I'm out though. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out. And also uh, check out one of these two videos. Like there's one on the left side and one of the right. Just check them out. You're going to like them. Thank you.